candidate running, a Republican candidate running in every congressional district in Queens. And right here in the 5th Congressional District, uh, which is the footprint of this uh, general area, uh, it's uh, the 5th Congressional District. We have uh, Mike O'Reilly. Mike O'Reilly. Mike is running against Greg Meeks. And we're going to give him a hell of a run for his money. We were petitioning out for the last few weeks uh, for Mike. Uh, we've gotten an amazing response. When we knock on a door, you know, there are, some people are fed up with what's going on between Trump and Cruz. But I say, well, this is not about the presidential. This is about someone who's running against Greg Mix. Let me sign. <laughs> people don't like Greg Mix. He's, you know, and the reason is because he's never had a good challenger before. But now we have a great challenger here. Mike? Phil is like the ever-ready bunny. He just never <laughs> stops. Never stops. Um, one correction, though. We're, we're not going to give him a good run for his money. We're going to win. We're going to yeah. win. Yeah. Uh, I think most of us know each other. Is the mic working okay? Yes. You can hear me? Speak, speak up, Mike. Most of us know each other. Um, if you don't know me, then I'm not doing a good job as a candidate. Uh, but as a quick introduction to people who do not know me, uh, my name is Michael O'Reilly. I am running for Congress against Greg Meeks. Um, last year I ran for judge, and many people in this room helped with the petitions. And we did a, uh, we did a great job. You know, we, uh, we got about 13,000 votes. That's it's something to be proud of. So I am an attorney, I ran for judge, I'm a former Marine, I'm a former airline pilot, and I am a staunch supporter of Republican values. And I asked myself, and people ask me, why are you running? And I had the opportunity about a week ago to attend an event um, with our senatorial candidate, uh, Wendy Long, and I listened to Wendy speak, and I won't give you a speech away. <laughs> but a lot of what she said kind of answered my questions. You know, you have to have an answer. Why am I running? You know, we can sit at home, we can be comfortable, we can be with our families, we can be um, planning vacations, or we can be in meetings, and we can be knocking on doors, we can be making phone calls, and we can be driving ourselves crazy at night thinking, how am I going to raise the money and all of these things. So why am I running? All the, all the normal reasons, because Greg Meeks is who he is, he's ethically challenged, I can do a better job, we deserve better, all of that. But what really came to mind was my father, God rest his soul. He, um, at the age of 17 years old, 17 years old, he fought hand-to-hand -hand combat in the South Pacific jungles to preserve our way of life so that we would have the America that we grew up in and that we can pass on to our kids. And the core reason why I am running is that, because I want to preserve the America that I had the opportunity, that I had the privilege of growing up in. I want to pass that on to my kids and your kids and our grandkids. And quite frankly, I'll be damned if a Barack Obama or a Hillary Clinton is going to just flush that down the toilet. We're going to keep this. We're going to win. We're not giving this up, not without a fight. That's why I'm running. That's why I'm so motivated and so determined to win. And that's why I correct everybody who says we're going to give them a run for the money and everything else. We're I'm going sorry, to win. Mike. I mean, no, we're I, going to I, win. No. We're going to win. <laughs> <laughs> and, we, and we are going to win, and we have the perfect opportunity uh, to do this. I mean, Phil will tell you, other people who are knocking on doors, there's a whole new set of energy out there. You know, last year we were knocking on doors, hi, I'm Michael Riley, I'm Republican running for bang. You know. <laughs> now they want to come in. They're, they're offering, uh, you know, to do house events. They're offering to, you know, to help raise money. They're involved. And I don't know, maybe, maybe it's, you know, the Trump factor. Maybe mm. it's the Obama mm. factor. Maybe it's a combination of everything. I like to say it's a perfect storm. But my point is, this is the time for us to act. And I commend each and every one of you for coming out here stepping up and, and being involved and doing your part. I thank you very much for all of your support. God bless you all. God bless America. Yes, sir. Do you see, my name is Dennis W. Do you see school choice as a beneficial issue in your campaign for Congress? 
I think it's very important. I think it's very important. You know, we can't have we can't have our our school system being run out of Washington D.C. We shouldn't have a lot of things being run out of Washington D.C., but certainly not our children's education. You know, um, I think you know we need to to have more choices, uh, more charter schools. I think charter schools have to be part of the equation. You know, it, it's a controversial issue, but I I think uh, you have to look at the facts. You have to look at the results, and really. For the inner city kids, charter schools are helping. So I'm for it, yes. I, I agree with you on the, the right to uh, life. I agree strongly with that. <clears throat> um, you know, with, with the exceptions that have been, you know, talked about, um, I'm, 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 I'm horrified by the number of abortions that take place almost routinely in this, in this nation. Um, it's become a way of life instead of, you know, the right to life. Um, so I'm, I'm very pro-life. There's no gray area there whatsoever. <laughs> with, with homosexual marriage, I'm, I'll be honest with you, I, I'm still evolving on the issue. I, I don't have a clear answer. I'm still evolving on it. I'm, I'm against it. Um, at, at the heart of it, I'm, I'm against it. But I, I don't know what to do about it. I don't know what the answer is. It, to be perfectly honest, honest. Well, I, I'm, I'm pro Second Amendment. I mean, uh, for a number of reasons. One, it's in the Constitution, you know, so it's not really a choice. You know, I mean, I know the argument is to do away with the Second Amendment rights. Um, I, I'm, you know, I'm pro Second Amendment. I think that we um, we have to look at the facts. We have to look at the facts. I mean, crimes aren't being committed by people, you know who are licensed gun owners and, and going out and, you know, hunting and, and protecting their house and, and, and property. Crimes aren't being permitted. So the, the answer is I'm, I'm pro-Second Amendment, but we have to find a way to get the guns off the streets, the illegal guns. That's the danger. I mean, and that needs to be dealt with. It's, it's a horrific situation. Oh, I mean, I'm, I'm certainly going to vote for any... any uh, any legislation that's in support of the Second Amendment, you know, I'm, I'm very, uh, very strong uh, supporter of it. I, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't think it's something that should be done away with. We've had it since the very beginning of the, of the country. Um, I don't think it's the the source of, of the problems. I think guns are, but I don't think the Second Amendment allowing people to uh, have firearms is the source. And just. To take it one step further, I'm sorry, one second, Scott. <clears throat> one step further uh, with the the Safe Act. I mean, the Safe Act is a great idea, but again, you know, you, you're cutting you're cutting people down from, you know, a 15 clip magazine to a 10 clip magazine. It's 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 ineffective. It's a feel good legislation. Yes, Scott. Well, I was just gonna say I may or may not be following up on his question correctly, but brought up in my mind the question is how are how are cities like New York allowed to basically spit on the Constitution and take away our rights to defend ourselves? Yeah, you, know, yeah. you see all kinds of crime and the Constitution says you can carry a gun and protect yourself and our mayor says no you may not and what I don't understand is how does that possibly happen? Where does he get the authority? Yeah, where's Absolutely. the authority? Absolutely. And I don't understand in all this time why that has not been challenged virulently at the Supreme Court. It certainly should be. Right? It certainly should be. I mean, I mean it's it's just, certainly, it's crazy. You know, certainly doesn't have the authority for that. Right, right, right. right Greg right. Meeks, and I don't want to take up much more time, Greg Meeks, you know, I'm going to legally protect myself and say, in my opinion, uh, is, is ethically challenged. I mean, if, if you look into his 18 years of service, forget that he didn't do anything for us. He did so much for himself. You know, there were so many, and I don't, I don't want to start slinging mud yet, but you can, you can do your own research and look. He's been under investigation after investigation after investigation from the FBI, from the um, Attorney General's Office, Health Ethics Committee. I mean, you know, it's going to be very easy to do a better job than him. You know, my, the bar that I have to get over is just not get indicted. You know, to be, <laughs> um, but seriously, in terms of the issues, you know, there's a lot of issues. And I know the issues in my community, and I know that, you know, what needs to be done. I need to go out to all of the other communities and learn what the issues are, because part of being a candidate is listening, a big part. So I can't go into another neighborhood and pretend that I know all the issues. I don't.
but I'll find out. So. Thank you. My name is Tyreek Rahmat. Um, I belong to the Pakistani Christian community. So I just have uh, uh, one uh, question. Uh, you have any idea to reach immigrant people? Because uh, we are Pakistani Christian people. I live in 10 years over here, but nobody reached any time from us. So can you have an idea? Sure. I mean, <laughs> you and I have reached out several times in, in the past. Yeah. Um, I've had the opportunity to go to your beautiful uh, ceremony for the candlelight vigil. We've yeah. had, you know, Last we, week. we've <laughs> shared dinner together. And I, I intend to go to all of the communities, as I just said, find out what the issues are, what your concerns are. I know what your main concerns are, but <laughs> go to the, uh, <laughs> go to all of the communities and find out what the issues are, and then I can better, you know, take care of them. You know, I mean, you and I have spoken in the past, and you know, I, I know what your main issues are, and they're serious. Yeah, so, thank you. Okay. Thank you very much.